The Canadian Taxpayers Federation is choosing sides in two legal battles. The Federation is hoping to stand as an intervener in the Saskatchewan government's court fight against the carbon tax. It's also opposed to the government of British Columbia's challenge to the construction of the Trans Mountain Pipeline, also before the courts. We're coming off the bench. We're going to do everything that we can do to, to help him in that uh, court battle. We're going to seek intervener status. The Saskatchewan government is currently asking the courts to decide whether the federal government can impose a carbon tax. It doesn't help the environment, but it costs us all a lot of money. So look, if, if Prime Minister Trudeau thinks he can just walk in and step on us like this, uh, he's going to have to deal with all of us. Meanwhile, the B.C. provincial government is seeing if it has the power to regulate oil shipments, which could lead to blocking interprovincial pipelines. The Sask government says it appreciates the support and is working on the requests. We're putting lawyers in touch with lawyers to have a discussion on the process. We're not actively going out seeking other interveners. Uh, we certainly let it be known that we're, that we're there. The pipeline issue has gained national interest. According to a Nano's research poll commissioned by CTV and the Globe and Mail, more than one in two Canadians think the Trans Mountain Pipeline extension is both a regional and national economic issue. More than six in ten Canadians say the economy and the environment should be given equal consideration when it comes to pipeline construction. And nearly six in ten Canadians support or somewhat support the Trans Mountain Pipeline project going ahead despite concerns raised by the B.C. government. McKay says he hopes to clarify which properties fall under federal or provincial jurisdiction, adding the federal and provincial governments need to stick to their jobs so the Canadian taxpayer knows who to hold responsible. He says the Federation is planning to file the intervener applications in the coming weeks. Colton Ween, CTV News, Regina.